How's it going everybody? This is Echo Papa and today we're talking about removing long intros. Now uh, I had gotten a question and someone wanted to know if you could use the video editor to get rid of the long intros that are often in front of music videos. Uh, like for example, I've, I've loaded up one right here and uh, as you can see the beginning of the video starts off in a dingy parking garage and there's uh, they, they're just walking around doing nothing and the song doesn't actually start to, to this cue point right here and uh, this is where the, the song starts and you can see right here it's at 49.9 seconds before you actually get any real music uh, so I mean that's nearly a minute and so I understand the, the want to to skip past the intros now I know a lot of you you know first might say well why can't you just you know put in a cue point and then jump straight to it well yes you can you're very welcome to do that too but if you wanna kinda of bypass that you can just remove those long intros altogether now uh, we're gonna be working with a video but this also works with uh, music files it's not limited to just videos but the person uh, they had asked about a video so that's what we're gonna work on so let's go ahead and we're gonna close this window out we're gonna come down here to our song we're going to right mouse click on it, but we're not going to go to the video editor. We're actually going to go to the track cleaner. Click on that, and here's our track. Now, right here, if we use our scroll wheel, we can zoom in. This part right here, this is where the song actually starts. But what we're going to do, we're going to remove everything that's in front of this. So let's go ahead. We're going to take our blue bar. We're going to drag it all the way to the front, and we're going to double click over here. So we get our green line. This is basically like a cursor. Take it right to the start, okay, and then we're going to click remove. Now you notice when we do that, we get this yellow box. So what we're going to do is you can drag this box around if you want, but what we're going to do, we're going to push it right to the beginning of the song, and we can make it bigger. So we're going to drag it, we're going to drag it all the way across, and then we're going to use our scroll wheel to zoom out a little bit. Then we're going to go back in here, and we get pretty close to where our beginning is, and we're going to zoom in. Okay, now we can see where our beginning is. We're going to put it right up against this line. Okay, so now go ahead and zoom out. Everything that's in this yellow box is now going to disappear. We're going to go ahead and let's let's click the save button, and it's going to want us to save it with a new name. You can change the title and the artist if you want to, uh, but I usually just uh, change the name of the remix. In this case, we're going to type in um, deleted intro, but you can name it anything you want. Click save. All right. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to unload this. This is our original track, and we're going to go ahead and search for our new track. We're just going to type in the song name again. Okay. Now here it is. Uh, here's our original track again, right here, and then here is the track that we just made, and it says deleted intro. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag it up there, and now you can see it starts right at where that drum beat hits. So we don't have to sit there and wait for that long intro it's going to be there whenever we want it. Now remember that doesn't work just for videos it also works for audio files and it doesn't just work for intros if you want to cut an outro you can cut out a center of the song if you want uh, so there's a lot of uses for this and so what is this file that we just made well it's it is a VDJ edit kind of like some of the VDJ edits that we've seen in the past I'll go ahead and I'll show it to you you can go to file operations open it up and explore and here it is right here basically it's just a little data file right next to the original file and in this this file you can see it's pretty small 253 bytes all it really does is contains the information that virtual needs to make the edits so there's not actually we didn't create a new video we didn't create a new audio file all we've done is just basically created a little edit file and when you throw that into the player it knows hey I need to load this song and start at this point so, if you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. If you need to get a hold of me, you can find me on Twitter, at DJ Echo Papa. Until next time, I'm Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.